Hello there viewers, Axel here. Welcome to another Axel Tech video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at what you need to do to get ready for gaming on elementary OS. Now, this video is not going to convince you whether you should use elementary OS for gaming or not. This is purely if you've already decided you want to run elementary OS as your main operating system and you want to know what all you need to install, like the basics to get ready for gaming. So for the sake of this video, we'll be covering installing updates, installing drivers, installing Steam, and somewhat optionally installing Lutris and Wine. That being said, let's get started. So naturally, the first thing that you'll want to do after a fresh installation is making sure that your operating system is up to date. This is especially important for elementary OS right now because as of the time of recording this, the latest release is still elementary OS 5.0. They are working on 5.1, but that's not out yet. And the ISO for 5.0 is quite old, so you will not even be close to up to date out of the box. So you will want to do that. You can keep it simple and do so through App Center. You can also do it through the terminal. We'll be starting with App Center because this will be the most straightforward for new users who may not be used to using the terminal just yet. That being said, most of the rest of the steps in this are going to require the terminal, so we'll get there when we get there. And there you go. The updates may take a while since this is from an older ISO, but updating through App Center is very straightforward. Once you're done installing updates, you will then want to restart your computer. After restarting, you will notice that the login screen is different. As we're approaching the elementary 5.1 release, a number of feature updates that are going to be included as part of that are also being rolled out to existing elementary OS users. The new greeter here is one of those. Anyway. So now that we've installed updates, I'm going to give you a little quick tip that you may want to do after a fresh install. If you go into system settings, mouse and touchpad. Now I already did it off camera, but uh, you wanna go under mouse settings and pointer acceleration, you may want to set to none, assuming that your hardware default does have mouse acceleration on. For both day-to-day -day use and for gaming, I definitely prefer to have that off and you may want to as well. So again, that is under system settings, mouse and touchpad, mouse. The next step we're going to take is making sure that the computer has up-to-date graphics drivers as we go along with getting started with Proton from Steam Play, because if you're going to be gaming on Linux in general, I'm assuming you'll want to be ready for Proton as well so that you can play otherwise Windows-exclusive games. So, we're going to go to the list of requirements and quick starts for Ubuntu 18.04 users, as Elementary OS is based on Ubuntu 18.04. Now, as a bit of a disclaimer, this computer and my main computer are both running AMD graphics cards, so at the moment I cannot personally test installing and setting up NVIDIA drivers. So if you're an NVIDIA user and you're using elementary OS or Ubuntu or something based on Ubuntu and you can verify how to get up-to-date NVIDIA drivers, please do so in the comments below because that, inf that information would be very useful. Otherwise, I'm going to assume that the steps listed here are accurate, but I can't verify that. In fact, I think we're already on a newer driver series for NVIDIA than that. So yeah, if you're an NVIDIA user and you can verify, please do so in the comments below. For the AMD side, I'm going to go with the AMD Intel section here. I'm not going to assume VR setup because I cannot personally test that, but if you are using AMD and you also want to do VR stuff, then scroll down to the AMD plus VR section here and follow the steps listed there. So the graphics card that I have on this computer is an AMD RX 570. So in my case, all that I need to do is follow the steps listed up at this part. If you're on an older AMD graphics card, as mentioned here, such as the R9 200 or 300 series, you may need to blacklist the Radeon driver as shown down here, which again, I can't personally test. So if you have a graphics card that's part of that series, let me know how that works out for you. I can't test that myself. 
Otherwise, if you're on a newer AMD graphics card, we follow the steps listed up here. So, there are a number of options you can do for the PPA for AMD drivers. I'm just going to stick with the one that is recommended here by Valve, and that is the Padoka PPA by Paulo Miguel Diaz. Now, if you're on elementary OS, adding PPAs is disabled out of the box, but it is very easy to re-enable. So as before, we're going to open up our terminal. Let's, uh, let's do it this way. And you will want to sudo at install software properties common. Again, that is sudo apt install software properties common. Hit enter. Yes. Okay. With that installed, we can now add PPAs just as you would on a normal Ubuntu-based distribution. So, simplest way is to copy and paste. So we're going to copy and paste. On elementary, you will get a warning that this command is asking for administrator access. You can toggle whether it does that or not right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off for now. Paste that in, hit enter, and hit enter again. Okay, and after adding the PPA, you will want to do a sudo apt dist upgrade. Well, the command says dist upgrade. I think just regular sudo apt upgrade works just as well. I'm honestly not 100% sure of the difference between the two of those, so don't ask me. But I would recommend just following the instructions that they have here. All right, after you do the sudo apt upgrade, you will then want to sudo apt install Misa Vulkan drivers. Also, pro tip if you're new to the Linux terminal, when you're typing in Basically anything, you can hit tab and that will let you auto-complete the command. So in this case, you can just kind of type Misa Volk, hit tab, it'll fill in the rest. I'm going to put that in twice because the second one we're going to append with i386. Hit yes. And that'll install the Vulkan drivers as well as 32-bit Vulkan stuff, which we'll need for Steam Play and uh, for Steam Play Proton. And with that, we are almost done. One more step that you may want to take, but is not, re is not necessarily required, but may be helpful if you're using a newer AMD graphics card, is enabling the hardware enablement stack. But basically, if you're on an older AMD card, you may not need to do this. If you're on a newer graphics card, you may want to, because the AMD GPU driver that's in the Linux kernel is going to be more up to date with the newer version and there may be some additional features or fixes with that that you might want to have. So we are gonna go ahead and do that. And again, just follow the command listed here under desktop. You probably just wanna copy and paste it. I don't, I don't know why I'm typing it. Don't judge me. And after all that is done, once again, restart your computer. Now that we've made sure drivers are up to date, the next logical step is installing Steam. So, of course, there are a couple ways you can do it. The simplest, most straightforward. You just open App Center, search for Steam, and there's both Steam and there's Steam Installer. I just do Steam Installer. Once that is downloaded and installed, go into Applications, and you should have Steam in your list. Click that, and Steam will update. And as usual, we wait for that to update. No reboots needed this time, though. Alright, once you're logged in, if you're wanting to play Windows games, you may want to enable Steam Play for all other titles. Just keep in mind, that enables it for games that are not whitelisted. So... Not everything will work, but a good chunk of games do work. I'm going to turn that on. And Steam will ask you to restart it after doing that. And now that we have Steam installed and ready to go, 
there is technically two more steps, but I'm going to lump them into one because they're, rel because they're related to each other. So if, like me, most of your game library is on Steam anyway, you don't really need to worry about doing this next part. But if you do have games on other platforms like GOG or just other things you might want to try running directly through Wine, like stuff from Origin, maybe Battle.net, you will probably want to install Lutris. I actually don't use it a lot myself because most of my games are on Steam anyway, but it is still great for when you want to play games that aren't on Steam because everything is all just in one app to launch from. So, let's go to the download page. And since we are on elementary OS, we are going to be following the top part right here. But first, since most of the time when you install Lutris, you're probably also going to want to be trying to run Windows games through it. So, if, you're pl if you plan on playing games for Windows to ensure a smooth experience, you'll want to install a recent version of Wine. And for the most part, they do recommend going with the latest Wine staging. So... You'll want to go to winehq.org, and once you're on winehq.org, go to download, scroll down to Ubuntu, and open your terminal. Let me just move that over there. So step one, you don't need to worry about enabling 32-bit architecture, that's already active. So. I'm going to copy in the wget and c part there. And then sudo apt key add winehq.key. Copy over the add repository command. Or, uh, 1804, as that is what elementary is currently based on. Then run a sudo apt update. And finally, sudo apt install install recommends winehq staging. Uh oh. All right, see, this is why I test things live as I do these tutorials. So, one thing I forgot about, beginning with Wine 4.5, we're on 4.18 now, the uh, Wine, it says the Wine Devil packages, that does also apply to the Wine staging. For Ubuntu 18.04 and above, require lib f audio 0 as a dependency, which is not provided in Ubuntu, so we need to download it from the... Uh, I can't remember what OBS, what, um, OBS in this context stands for. It's not referring to open broadcasting software. It's the thing that opens SUS it does. Open build service, I think. Anyway, F-Audio for Debian and Ubuntu. So we need to install F-Audio by going to the Ubuntu 18.04 and Linux Mint 19.x link here. Once you're on this page, first go under AMD64, and you'll want to download the one at the top here, libfaudio0. Then go back, go to i386, and do the same for that version. Let's go ahead and open that folder, and clicking those links, download it to dev packages. So on elementary, out of the box, you don't have a way to graphically install dev packages. You can do it through the terminal, you can also go to App Center and grab Eddy, which is a very simple way to install dev packages on elementary OS. Usually you're not going to need to, but it is nice for when you do need to. So now that we have Eddy, click that, and we can have them both in there at once. Click Install. Okay. Now that we have libf audio installed there, back to the terminal. sudo apt install install recommends winehq staging and hit y. And now that wine staging is installed, we are ready 
to install Lutris. So, I'm going to do sudo add apt repository. Again, you can tab to complete Lut yeah, Lutris dash team slash Lutris. And sudo apt install Lutris. And once that is done, Lutris is installed, you'll get a message that pops up asking if you want to support Lutris financially, if you are able to. And then we have Lutris installed. Anyway, that's all for getting Wine installed as well as Lutris. I'm not going to show you how to. No, I'm not going to show you how to use Lutris because again, Lutris would be worth its own video. But that is all for getting what I would consider the most must-have apps for gaming on any Linux distribution. Really, it's going to be Steam, Lutris, and Wine, and that. You're pretty much good to go at that point. If there is anything that you feel that I missed that is vitally important to Linux gaming, let me know in the comments below. I may do a follow-up to this video depending on how many responses like that that I get. We'll see. So, if I missed anything important, let me know. Until next time, though, I hope this video is helpful for you guys. If you would like to support the channel and you're a really big fan of my work, you can do so via the link in the description below that says support. Till then, this has been Axel. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.